Are you going to say hello? Speak. Speak. Oof. Good boy. Good boy. Say hi to everybody. Say hi. <laughs> oh, Milo's come over as well. When, whenever the camera's out, Milo comes over to say. So guys, today um, we are going back to the vet hospital. So the last time we updated was about three weeks ago when we had the first test results to fill. Um, and their advice would be at this point to go and see a specialist um, who is best qualified to find a treatment plan and find out what is exactly wrong with Phil. Um, so we've been on a wait list. A couple of specialists refused to take on his case. Um, and then the one that would take it on wouldn't be able to see him until April, so four weeks away. And we just thought time is of the essence. And whilst it would be great to have the highest qualified person looking at Phil's case, um, maybe it's not worth oh. the time it takes to wait versus you could be on treatment in that period of time. So that's where we got up to. So we asked the vet hospital to take us back and to start looking at Phil's case, even though they're not the specialist. Um, and then worst case scenario, whatever results they find, we can send on to the specialist and then hopefully save some time when we get four weeks down the line for that appointment. You are so cute. So yeah, that's where we are today. Um, a backstory for those that don't know um, or didn't see the last video for Phil's health update. We took him to the vet three weeks ago because he had a bloated stomach and our golden retriever died of a twisted stomach eight years ago now so whenever you see any kind of like bloat we're very 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 cautious we've even taken phil to the vet once before with a bloated stomach like two years ago and it turned out he just needed to fart and that cost us like 1500 pounds which is about 2400 dollars um roughly um so yeah so that was <laughs> it was funny you can laugh about it now but yeah we spent he spent overnight in the vets uh, just with trapped wind um, anyway, this time we went in with bloated stomach again just to get him checked out and um, he ended up having an ultrasound and blood test taken and on the bloods he had a high liver enzyme count, more than 10 times what he should have. His liver was enlarged which was causing his organs to push downwards which is where the bloat was coming from and um, he had sludge in his gallbladder, he had some unidentified mass in his abdomen that, that wasn't attached to any organ, they didn't know what it was and he has they've said he's got arthritis which that one didn't come as a shock you know he's an older dog to us um he's already been on joint supplements for a long time and cbd oil so that one didn't surprise us um the other ones obviously did um and was that everything high liver enzyme gallbladder enlarged liver oh and a heart murmur so yeah that's when we got referred to the specialist then we're waiting for the specialist to review like his ultrasound results and everything and they're the ones that have said that they couldn't fit him in until April. Um, so then we went back to the vet hospital which is where we are today. So we are going back there and they are going to do the next step which is to do a biopsy of the mass in his body. Um, so he'll undergo sedation for that and then um we'll find out what oh and they're going to do a repeat blood test as well to see now that he's been on liver medication for three weeks how his liver enzyme count looks. Um, so yeah, he's been nil by mouth, so he's not had breakfast this morning, which is why he's extra loving, because he wants his bread dinner. Um, yeah, so we're going to go back to the vets now, and I'll take you along with us um, for as much as I can. Um, but he's going to spend the day there, I'm going to have to leave him there and then go back and get him later on. You ready? You don't mind the vet, she quite get excited for it. Like a weird dog. Come on, let's go. <laughs>
So the vet's just come out and we've discussed Phil and she's going to do a heart scan first of all just to make sure his heart is strong enough for sedation um, and then after that he'll have the biopsy. Um, so it's the morning now and I don't think we're going to get to pick him up until this afternoon but she's just getting the room ready for him and then she's going to come back and get him. But he's very happy in the vets, like he just wants to be everybody's friend and yeah he doesn't, like, of all the vet visits he's had he never gets scared of the vets. Um, so I'm not worried about him leaving him in good hands and I'll pick him up later. Amelia, we're going to go get Phil. Yeah. Where's Phil? At the vet. Yeah, the vet. What's wrong with him? He's sick. He's sick, but they made him better. Yeah? They're going to they're gonna fix him? Yeah. Yeah, Daddy let you out. Ugh. Come on. Freedom! Freedom, where are you going to go? Come to daddy. Come to daddy, you little worm. We go get Phil, yeah? Yeah? Yeah. Okay. So you got Phil back. Yeah. Give him a hug. Give him a hug, we have to go. Okay, here we go, yeah? Say bye, Phil. Bye, Phil. So, guys, Phil is back from the vets. He's just sleepy. There's nothing like this isn't anything to be worried about, but I just wanted to show you. So, this is his belly where he had his ultrasound um, a few weeks ago. And then this, this little patch here, he is dirty, he does need a bath, but I'm trying to avoid it. <laughs> Phil, move your arms so I can see it. This is from his heart scan, he's got this either side of him. Um, thankfully, they, this, I'm so precious about this hair here, because when I take photos, um, that's where, like, sometimes you can get it where it doesn't look like he's got any hair loss, but obviously he has an incredible amount. Um, he's got little veins showing here, his belly. This is his little bloated tummy. Um, so yeah, the vets today, they did the heart scan first of all, just to make sure his heart was strong enough for, um, let me turn this camera around actually, I'm going to lay next to you. Um, yeah, so at the vets, they did the heart scan first of all, just to make sure that his, um, his heart was strong enough to sedate, to withstand sedation, um, because he would need to be sedated for the biopsy of the mass and, um, so they did the heart scan and found that the heart murmur is a leak in his mitral valve, um, which was concerning, but the vet said that his heart's pumping as normal, it's not enlarged or anything like that, so it seems to be coping fine with the leak, and they, it's just something to monitor and do another heart scan in a few months' time. Um, he's just got a collar on at the moment, if you saw that, and um, that's just monitoring his heart rate and everything. Um, I think we're going to do a separate video on that. Um... So yeah, his heart valve, whilst it sounds scary and he's got a leak, his heart is performing fine and we'll just do a scan in a few months time to make sure that's still the case. Um, then they did the ultrasound, which he didn't need to be sedated for. They do that just to try and find the mass again and know where to stick the needle to get the biopsy. Um, but the mass has gone. Um, the random floating mass they couldn't identify is no longer there. They searched for it for quite a while and couldn't find it. So there was nothing that they could take a biopsy of. So um, that I've taken as good news. Um, his other lymph nodes don't seem to be inflamed. So there was nothing to suggest that they could take a biopsy of anything within his lymphatic system, which suggests that perhaps uh, three weeks ago when he had that scan, he just had um, some sort of infection that he was fighting that wasn't showing on his blood tests. Um, so yeah, taking that as good in news, then next he had his bloods taken so we can see if the liver medication is working and um, his enzyme counts coming down to normal levels, but also how his kidneys are functioning with this medication and how they're filtering everything out. So we're waiting for the blood test for that. And then they've also done a urine test. I think they're testing again for diabetes. It can show on bloods and it can show in urine. So they just rule in diabetes out. Um, and then after that, I think we're going to go through another test for Cushing's disease, which we have tested for before, years ago, long before the alopecia diagnosis. That was one of, he was displaying all the symptoms of thyroid issues and Cushing. So we have tested for it, but there are multiple tests that you can do. And I think we only did one of them, which came back negative. So we didn't go down that route any further. 
So, yeah, so we're just waiting for the bloods and everything. Once that's all rolled out, the next one will be going for a Christian's test. I'm not sure what that will involve. The last one was a urine test, but she said she'd do something different this time. So I'm not sure what that will be. Um, but, yeah, so far, Phil is happy to be home, although he does like it at the vets. Um, we're happy to have him back. And, yeah, just waiting until probably next week when we get the results of his bloods and see how everything is. Um, but I've taken it as good news that the mass has gone. Um, that scared me, the abnormal mass that couldn't be identified. That was scary. Um, obviously, he's still got other stuff going on with him. But I've taken so far the news positively and will await the next outcome for the next round of testing. Um, so, yeah, we will update you as soon as we know more. Thank you for watching. See bye, Phil. He's not going to say bye, he's too tired.